Hi, my name is Alyssa. I am at Chef Ali B on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And today we're going to be learning how to sharpen knives. All right, so these two are the stones that I would recommend the most. Um, this one is a Norton brick. I got it for 15, about 15, 20 bucks. And um, if I open it, you'll see that it has two sides. So this is the coarse side, and this is going to be the finer side. And this one. Um, I just got as a gift, so it's called Sharp Pebble, um, and this one also has the coarser side, and then this is the finer side, and um, this one's just a little fancier because it has like its own holding cube. For this one, the Norton, um, you would have to place it on a wet paper towel to keep it from moving around while you're sharpening, uh, but to start with either of these two bricks, we're going to have to soak them in water for about 15 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna show you really quick while my whetstones are soaking how to um, tell if your knife is sharp or not and some quick fixes for the kitchen. So I have two knives here. This one I sharpen more regularly. This is my Mercer serrated knife. If you run your thumb along the blade very gently, the higher that the pitch is, is the sharper your knife is. And um, I can tell this one needs sharpening because even though the pitch is higher, um, I can't feel my thumb sticking to the knife. And you kind of want to feel your thumb sticking, that means it's sharp. So let me play it for you. See, so that one's not bad. This one is my Victorinox knife, and I know for a fact this one needs to be sharpened. Because if I can, if you hold it up to the mic, it's so dull that it barely makes any noise. And um, my thumb isn't sticking at all. So this one I know needs to be sharpened a lot. Um, some quick fixes in the kitchen. These are quick sharpeners. They are not long term. So this one, it's just easier to hold and it's um, like longer lasting because it has the coarse setting and the fine setting. Um, whereas this one, it's just portable. So um, really quick on this one, I'm just going to show you. Um, I'll show you with my sharper knife because this is it's it doesn't work very well with extremely dull knives like these. It works better with knives that you've sharpened recently. You just need a quick fix. Coarse side first, and you just put it straight on your blade and back. And you can tell it's already sharper, and my thumb is sticking. So now we're going to do the fine coarse. You can tell that's already sharper. Um, so that's this one. And this one, it's um, more for like easy sharpening on the go if you're not home. Um, but you're going to hold it against you. Hold it upside down like this and sharpen it um, kind of towards you, but just be very careful. And that one gets it sharp very fast. You can hear that? My thumb is sticking, very good to that. So this is a really good, um, easy way to sharpen them on the go and very quickly. It's a short term fix. It'll only sharpen your knife for like maybe one day or two days. Um, so the whetstone's the way you wanna go if you wanna keep your, na your knives um, sharp long term. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So my whetstones have been soaking for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to um, stage them and get them ready and then I'll adjust the camera. <laughs> my cat Bond, everybody. Please get off the table. Say hi and say bye. The Norton is gonna go on um, a wet paper towel and then on a dry paper towel just so you don't damage your table. Ideally, this would be done on a countertop, but since I am filming it, I cannot do it in my kitchen. There is no lighting. So um, this one's gonna be on what's done like that. And the other one is gonna be on its little stand here. So Norton Whetstone, and this is the Sharp Pebble Whetstone. I'll go ahead and show you on both. All right, so I'm gonna show you on a close-up how to sharpen your knife. Um, so this is my Victorinox knife, and the way you wanna go is 45 degree angle, and um, you wanna run your knife, put your fingers right here, and run your knife against the blade, like that. Start back here. So you want to go the length of the blade down. 
and then rotate it and do the same thing on the other side. Now it's time to do the finer side. Make sure that your whetstone is wet. And um, yeah, basically you're just gonna do the same thing. So now that I sharpened my knife, you'll be able to hear it in the mic. You feel how sticky my knife is to that? But that is how to sharpen your knife with the whetstone. Um, I'm gonna do my other knife really quick on my blue whetstone and show you how to do that as well. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it on the um, sharp pebble. Same thing, um, it's just re-enhancing what I've been telling you. Um, but this one definitely needs sharpening as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Well, um, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in on how to sharpen your knives. Um, I hope this video has helped you on learn what you can do in the kitchen to keep your knives at Optimum Care. Um, I am no expert at this. I am only showing you what I know and how I know how to do it. Um, if you know a better way or if you know how to help me hone in my left side of the knife, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, I'm still figuring it out, but um, I just wanted to share you guys a little bit of knowledge that I have um, so that you guys know how to do it in the kitchen. Please check out my uh, page at Chef Ali B on Instagram and YouTube to check out more videos and food recipes. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Okay, bye. Pretty girl wanted to say bye to the camera as well. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> You're so pretty.